Good morning, Mount Olive Church and friends of Mount Olive Church. Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you've had a great week this week. Um, I'm going to do a devotion this morning on pastor's message from uh, last Sunday. Hopefully you had a chance to be there. Really, really great service. It was it was one of those ones where um, I don't think it probably translated quite as good through the internet waves um, as most things do don't uh, as as it was in person. Really, really good place to be. Um, just glad I was there. Glad I had the opportunity to be there and be blessed. So, um, so we just want to do a quick devotion on on one little thought from that. I don't want to take a whole lot of time this morning. Um, just talking about the idea of 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 a friend, of uh, my friend, and going to go to Mark four, uh, just kind of taking something that that Pastor mentioned there and going a little different direction with it. But this this was the quote. I think most of all the guys have mentioned this this week. One of the first things that Pastor led off with was uh, this quote from Brother Lee that we we lost this past week, and uh, you know continue to pray for him for for Sister Sheila uh, who lost him, and and just a couple of my favorite people in the entire world. Uh, just absolutely thank the world of Sister Sheila and, and Brother Lee. They're pillars in our church and um th- you know there from the first day i ever walked through mount olive's doors and there you know until the end and just every time they had a chance to be there they're there and they're always encouraging and just uh, you know pray for sister sheila she'll be she'll be lonely but she'll be there with us and let's do a good job of picking her up just love sister sheila but uh, P- brother lee said his last words here to pastor tj was you're my friend and that is better than silver and gold and so uh, you know, a lot of the message was spent on, you know, that idea of having godly friends or part of the message was, and then we certainly need that. Um, I want to go a little different route though. I want, I want to talk about a, a different friend and, and the Bible. I want to, want to look here real quick at, at my best friend and I hope your best friend, Jesus, um, you know, in, in Mark chapter four here, of course, the story goes, pastor mentioned this, but, um, in Mark chapter four, this is when he sits out, sits the disciples all across this body of water across the sea here. And he tells them, you know, we're going to go to the other side. And, and this, um, this big storm breaks out and he, he tells them in verse 39, <clears throat> or he says in verse 39, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And so just want to spend just a minute here talking about the peace that I can get from my best friend, Jesus. Um, he's my Lord. He's my savior. He's a friend. It says in Proverbs that sticks closer than a, than a brother. He's as good as we can do in this life, as good of friends as I started to go with a little different direction, but as good of friends as sister Sheila and brother Lee were to each other, um, as good of friends as, as Jody and TJ are to each other, or, you know, as my wife is to me, um, we can never replicate what Jesus can give to us as a friend. Um, starting with peace, or or at least a big part of that is the peace that I can get from my Savior. The only place I can really get peace, this world tries to get peace in, in so many different places, and, and I'm guilty of that sometimes too. You know, sometimes you think you need a day off, sometimes you think you need a nap, and sometimes you do. Um, but that's not where peace comes from. Peace comes from knowing Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. If you don't, then you don't know peace. Um, to know peace is to know him. And so I love this quote from Pastor TJ. This is kind of where I'm going to wrap this all up. But it says, the same Savior that said, peace be still. The very same Jesus that was in the bowels of that boat stood up, said, peace be still, and the winds and the waves, they stopped. That same Jesus is the same one that gives me peace in my life if I'll only go to him. Now, sometimes I wrap up and try to do things myself, and, and I'm sure you do too, and, and end up making a bigger mess of it than it ever was before. But that same Savior that was in that boat, that calmed that sea, that same Savior can give me peace today. And boy, what a friend that is, right? What a friend we have in Jesus, the song says. Remember that this week. When, when things come for you, and, and they will, it seems like we always kind of mention that, but you know, when we're right in the middle of it, sometimes we forget. But when things come for you, my Jesus, my friend, he's the one that can give me peace. Only him, right? Only him. Only going to him is where I will get peace. And so just a reminder of that this week. Maybe we'll need that this week. Maybe we won't need it till next week. We may need it right now, today. Um, so I hope you got something out of that, guys. Um, hope you 
uh, will join us tomorrow. Again, you know, the, the there's nothing quite like being in the presence of God's people, uh, being gathered together with us. And we certainly hope you join us tomorrow. Please do that if you can. Uh, if you can't join us online and continue to watch these devotions, we sure we appreciate everyone who does. I don't say that enough. I, I, I really appreciate everyone that watches these and comments and, you know, tells us that they like them and appreciate them. I, and, and we appreciate you guys. Uh, but most of all, I appreciate my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for dying on the cross for me like he did almost 2,000 years ago. So definitely, that's my number one friend. That's my number one appreciation. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. We will see you guys, I hope, tomorrow. Love you guys. Have a great week.